What is going on everybody? Quick update for you guys. I'm shooting this on the GoPro 10, uh, 5K30. Hyper Smooth is on, but not Boost, just regular Hyper Smooth. And I wanted to let you guys know, after a couple of weeks of owning it, probably what is like a month now, almost like a month, whatever, should you go ahead and get it if you already have an older model, or even if you don't have a GoPro and you've been thinking about just getting an action camera, should you go with this guy? And I'll be honest, considering this battery issue, which is still going on, I haven't seen any announcements for an update about it or what if they're really even talking about it or putting real emphasis to get it rectified. <sighs> Coming from me, the guy who drove 45 minutes to a Best Buy, same day it was announced, I went ahead and got it. I would say go ahead and wait. Go ahead and wait. See what they're talking about. See when a, an update or a patch is coming out because it is, I really feel it is a software issue, right? It's a software issue. So it is something that can be fixed. It'll be fixed very quickly. And once that happens, man, I think this camera is gonna really be a monster. It already has the specs to be a monster, but you can barely use it before it shuts off. And even now, me shooting at, at 5K and with stabilization on, this bad boy is already getting hot. Like already, and we just started this video. I can already feel it getting warm. So we saw some videos or articles talking about you can only get 20 minutes out of this. They're actually, they're actually right. Just judging from how already the battery percentage is dropping, could start to feel it getting a little warm. And this is like, I've shot maybe two, three videos prior to this, so the camera's been, you know, on, off, on, off. It's, yeah, it's already, it's already warm enough. It is gonna die pretty quickly. So I'm gonna try to speed this up. This is gonna be a short video because I don't want, I do not want this camera to shut off. Midway through this video, I'm gonna be pissed. So I'm gonna hurry this up. This is gonna be a quick one, but if you have a nine, GoPro nine. If you have, a, even if you have a GoPro eight, to be honest with you, you're. I would say hold on, considering the issues with the ten, that it just takes it. It takes the experience out of it. It takes the fun out of it. It's not the best experience when using it because okay, you already know you're gonna have to start swapping out batteries. You already know if you wanna shoot high resolution, you really don't have much time. I haven't even been using it as much as I would like because I already know it's like, ah, I don't have as much time as I would like to use it. And a lot of times when I'm shooting something, it is gonna be pretty lengthy. It is gonna be pretty long. Like a lot of stuff I don't shoot in clips. I like to shoot it long and then I'll edit it down. And knowing that, I barely get any life out of this camera. Like I got, I'll use three batteries in one little session with no problem. So I haven't even really been using it as much as I would like, you know, just because of that reason, because it's just been taking out just, for me, just the fun factor of it. Like, I don't want to have to worry about, I got 10 minutes. <laughs> like I don't want, you know, so for someone who was like, who raced out to get it. And then now three weeks later, it's like, yeah, it's always with me. I always have it with me, but I'm not really picking it up. Or if I if I didn't bring an extra battery with me or if I, I just won't even use it at all. Cause I'm like, I'm, I know I'm really not gonna get much out of it. So if you have the nine, I would say just hold on. Like the nine is still a beast. Still what you see, it is 4K60 on the nine, if I'm not mistaken. You still have hype, that hyper smooth boost on there in low light. You know, there's plenty of like side-by-side -side sample footage test. It's right up there with the 10. If you have the eight, let's even hold on to the eight. The eight isn't that bad either. The eight is still a beast. You know, yeah, you can see some resolution differences, but I mean, most of us were watching this on the phone, so you can get away with it, you know, but someone like me who always wants like the top, that's, that's one problem I got. I got to work on it. Like I wanted the top, top, top. Yeah, I went and, I went out and grabbed it. And now it's like, I'm a little upset with it. So still a good camera, still an awesome camera. Like I love the capabilities and I love the potential even moving forward. Like once this is rectified, and it's gonna be a beast of a camera, 1000%. But right now, yeah, this is, this is a, a speed bump that is kind of hard for me to get over. 
you know, because once again, it just takes out the usability of the camera. You have all this tech, you have all of this, you know, high end spec in this small body. And it's like, you want to really like max it out and use it, but you can, you know, they sold that marketing. They sold that 5k in the, in the marketing behind this camera. You know, we, I, I bit, I bit on it, you know, like I wanted to shoot, see what 5k can look like and, you know, crop it down and punch in and things like that, man, 5k, put this on 5k and you turn the, the stabilization on, like you immediately just, the battery just drops like immediately. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, 4k 120 trying to get some cool slow-mo with the boost on, forget about it. That battery is like, nope, I'm out of here. 4K 60, that battery is like, mm, I hang out for a little bit, but I'm out of here. 30, same thing. I put it on 1080. It's like, all right, you get some life out of it. So once again, it's a ton of pros with it. A ton of pros. This is awesome. I'm still happy I, I bought it. I'm still happy with it. But just know if you are thinking about getting it, just know it is a thing with this battery. You've seen every person who owns one, it's the first thing they talk about. So if you're okay with that, 1000% go ahead. Like I'm telling you, no, if you're okay with this battery, it's going to die on you. It's going to overheat and it's going to shut off. If you're okay with that, go ahead. My opinion, just wait. See what they're talking about. They have to address it. They got to release a patch. If they do, go ahead and snatch it up. If you got the nine, don't even worry about it. You're good. If you got an eight, I get it. But still, just wait. Because I don't use it as much as I would like. And I'm a GoPro junkie. I'm a fanatic with these things. I love these things. And even I'm like, ugh. Mm, GoPro. But anyway, I just want to update you guys, let you guys know what's going on with it. So more videos on the way. As soon as I know something, I'll put it out. If you guys know something, let me know. We got to get this thing back and back going. All right.